Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today I have a quick tip for you when you're working with the hue saturation adjustment in Photoshop. I have three circles here on the same layer in the same document. I want to change the color of this one. I want to do it in a way that is editable. So I'll use an adjustment layer. For this I'll choose layer, new adjustment layer and then I'll choose hue saturation. This is a nice, easy way of changing colors in an image. Now, I don't want to change all the colors. So if I start dragging around this slider, you can see that all the colors are changing. That's not what I want to do. I just want to change the fill on this shape over here. And I've identified it as being likely to be cyan. So I'm going to the channels here and I'll select cyan so that I can adjust the cyans. Now let me just zero this out and let's see what happens when we start to adjust the cyans in the image and apply a different color to them. Well, this is changing. This fill here is changing really nicely. The problem is, is that the color that's here is also being identified as cyan. So what I want to do is to limit the colors being chosen to be recolored to the color that's underneath this and not here. So let's just zero things back out again so we can see what the original image looked like. So I've got a adjustment, but it's got no values changed here. So this is what the image looked like. What I need to do is to say, this is the color and this is not the color. Well, this is not the color is in this area here. So what I need to do is to change the position of these sliders here. Now, if you have a situation like I do here where the colors are breaking over the ends of this slider, this is what you can do. Hold down the control key on a PC, that's command on a Mac, and hover over the colors here and you'll see a hand with the hand, you can drag on this color slider and just move it across so that we can see in the middle of the slider, these selectors. It hasn't changed anything in the document. It's just rotated around these colors, making things a little bit easier to see. So this is the mid selection here. There's sort of handles on either side of it. So what's happening is that the color in here is being 100% changed. And that, if you have a look at the colors just above and below this marker, are cyans. But so too are some greens and so too are some blues. And it's sort of being petered out, if you like. So this will be 100% recolored and this will be between 100 and 0. And then over here, nothing is being recolored. What we need to do is to remove the greens from this area. So I'll drag on this slider here to narrow down the selection so that we remove the greens from the adjustment. Now let's see if we've managed to do what we came here to do. As I adjust the hue slider, now the only thing that's being adjusted is the center of this circle here. This one is no longer being adjusted because we've pulled it back from being defined as a cyan. We've said, no, that's not a, the cyan that we want to change. This is the cyan that we want to change. And so now we're able to identify a color that we want to use. Let me just lighten it a little bit. And when I'm happy, I'll just close the dialog. So it's easy to identify a color in an image and recolor just that color using a hue saturation adjustment. And if you find that the color slider is in the wrong place, then you know now how to move it around so that you can see things a little more clearly. Before I wrap up the video, I have more Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family and friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned things about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.